no matter what I do. Aloha and welcome video viewers. This is Contrast. I'm Fade Panther. <clears throat> I know nothing about this game. Let's get into it. Outside of the fact that it looks like a vague, uh, Victorian Paris, sort of. I have a funny feeling that's me. Or this character. Whatever that did. <clears throat> it's time for bed, Dee Dee. Go hop in bed. I'll be right in to tuck you in. Good night, Daddy. What are you doing here? My mommy's coming. You better hide, or she's gonna catch you. Okay, sweetie. Night-night. What are you looking at? I don't think she can see you. Now promise me you'll be a good girl while I'm out singing. I promise. No sneaking out this time. I'll get in trouble. I promise. That's my good girl. Mommy. Is Daddy ever coming back? I don't know, honey. Maybe someday when he's ready. But don't you worry. Mommy always comes back. I'll be home before you even wake up. Get some nice sleep. Okay, she's gone. She's gonna sing at the ghost note tonight. It's the most beautiful cabaret. <laughs> Come on, we'll miss her show. Okay. Disobedient little child, but... Oh no, somebody moved the ash cart. Look. I know. You could go down there and move the ash cart, and I could jump down. I'll play here, so you can go over there and be a shadow person. Oh, cool. Wow, I wish I could do that. Could you teach me how to do that? Okay. Now move the ash cart to where I can jump into it. That still seems really hazardous for a kid to- oh, okay. I gotcha. Alright. I wonder who moved it. Do you think it was Mommy? She got really mad at me the last time I snuck out. Where did you go for so long? I haven't seen you in three weeks. I really wish you had been at my birthday. Daddy missed my birthday. Now we go this way. Follow me. Oh, I think you're too big. <laughs> hmm. This with the I shadows think that goes part? all the way through to the other street. If I move this cart, you could walk up the shadow. Couldn't you? Oh, okay. This is definitely going to be a logic puzzle game. So I hope I do decently. Oop. See you at the ghost now. Cafe Peyrot. Huh. Luminaries. Interesting. Act one invisible friend. Hmm. Ah.
This is really cool, actually. A walk button. Newspaper <clears throat> article. Emrain Buni acquire uh, acquitted for murder for the second time. Oh, that, that's fun. Really glad that this is not uh, tailored for children because that's a hellish note to start with. No pun intended. They haven't started the show yet. You missed the dancers. They were so beautiful. I want to be a dancer when I grow up. Or an acrobat, like you. Did you always want to be an acrobat? You're so good. You should be in the circus. Too bad nobody can see you. Come on, let's go in. Uh, okay. Am I just like in an alternate reality that- Wanna put on some lights? I promise you'll like the view. Oh, okay. Ah. You know what? Um. There. Wait. That. Save? That's it. Come on, sugar. Help a girl out here. We can't play in the dark. The band. Okay. The third one's going to be a pain. Oh, I see. The hell? Oh, hey, one's on the fritz. Hey, Sparky, could you do something about that one, too? It's really messing with our rhythm. What's down here? That's generally not a good sign. <clears throat> oh, second notice that you've been found. Rental duties. Oh, wow. That's why she's upset about it. Oh, it looks like I'm missing a... a thing. Damn. What is she, Jessica Rabbit? Sorry, Joe. You ain't a lover. You're a house on fire. I'm burning so. You hear that siren coming, baby? I gotta go. You're in my pocket. 
last Joe, I had my fill. It wasn't last Joe, baby, I got things. There's no one happy in a house on fire. Why do I see? I hear those sirens going, baby. I get a chill, I get a thrill, babe, and I want to run back. But I know I got a Vamp for me, Charlie, would ya? Yeah, I think that's Jessica Rabbit. <laughs> singing good tonight, Ken. Don't smooth talk me, Johnny. We had an agreement. Is that what you call it? I never wanted to leave. You kicked me out. You want money from me, Johnny? Because I'm ducking the landlord. I don't need a handout, babe. Look at this suit. You work in another one of your famous deals? This one's big, Cat. Oh, sure it is. Till it blows up like last time and the time before Not that. Not this time, babe. I'm gonna make it all up to you. I gotta get back on stage. Then meet me after. I'm staying at the Excelsior. But you think you're just gonna jitterbug your way back into our lives with a lot of sweet talk? It's gonna be better this time, babe. You're gonna see how much better it can be. Room 529, kiddo. Sounds like we need to. Where is he going? I need to talk to him. Yep, that's what I figured. Of all the gin joints. He just went through the gate. I bet he's going to the bar. Yeah. Mommy said Daddy left us, but that's not true, is it? She kicked him out. The thing said I was missing something. I'm gonna take a quick look. Ah! Oh, that's who it is. At night. Cool. Alright, found it. Moving on. But you could break it open. You're pretty strong. When did I have this? Come on, it's this way. <clears throat> That's the amazing Vincenzo. He's a world famous illusionist. What's daddy doing with him? Your plan involves an illusionist. Might want to have a different plan. Where are you going? Daddy went in there. Oh, there. They have that mechanic going. All right, fine. Come on, Vincenzo. It's just some film footage of your act. Why can't you let me borrow it just overnight? Because it is my new act and it's top secret, which is why my agent has it safely locked in his office upstairs. I just want to show it to my investors. They want to get to know you better. Mr. Fenris, I have performed my illusion act for the King of England and the Emperor of Japan. There are untouchables in India who tell stories of the amazing Vincenzo. If your investors don't know me, they're not in show business. You think I can't pay you? Look at this suit! I'm staying at the Excelsior Hotel! I've asked around about you, Mr. Fenris. People tell me not to trust you. And I've asked around about you, Mr. Amazing. You're not as flush as you look. You've got a few debts. 
Which is why I think you'll perform at the opening night of my circus. You dare accuse me? Look, I made a beautiful poster. Now I just need to borrow your film reel. Until I see some earnest money from you, I'm damned if I will lend you the time of day. All right. I'll get you a check. Cash. Cash, don't worry. I'll call you tomorrow. It's been such a pleasure meeting with you. Thanks for the drink. Yeah, that that sounds terrible. Why am I finding the film real? <clears throat> well, um, I'm going to go ahead and cut this episode here. Uh, I will catch you all in the next one where we continue on with this story. So until then, have fun, be safe, and aloha.